from over the stadium. A few fireworks guaranteed inside as well. We are glad you could join us. That's such a special night here for these fans. There'll be a lot more in this area of this sort of friendly exhibition, high status games ahead of the World Cup in Qatar, as the relationships hopefully can be uh, salved a little bit between Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Good luck with that. But here today, we've got a wonderful match lining up, Phil. Allison, the great Liverpool man, who's been inspirational since he moved to the red. Of course, started his football with Internacional in Brazil. And Thiago Silva, 35 year old, and an absolute master class defender that is showing no signs of backing down or fading away into the sunset. On the side, two guys on the ball. Okay. New Zealander Matt Conger in the background talking to the two captains, and there is how Brazil will come out. Gabriel Jesus in that position. He says he does not like out wide on the right, but that actually pushes William to the left most likely. Uh -huh. And Roberto Firmino, where you don't want to call it the dirty work, you don't want to call it the donkey work because he's actually turning into quite the goal scorer, but. He has always drawn his coach's favor by doing the hard work. And now it's paying off. Here a look at the bench and talent on both sides, including the little jewel, Paulo Dybala, who is starting to shine again. Star studded benches, Phil. Yeah, see Philippe Coutinho there as well. There's so many interactions here. All these true magnificent footballers coming up against their own teammates you yes, heard sir. his name being run around this stadium right before kickoff good look at the referee Matt Conger getting the call here today and getting us underway the Brazil tour hitting Saudi Arabia and the King Saud University Stadium in Riyadh on a pleasant night temperature in the upper 60s 
No wind to speak of. Phil Shane alongside Ray Hudson. Glad you've joined us. Diego Pesolano and Jaime Macias on our Spanish language side. An early challenge by Messi poked free. Two cough-ups there from Lucas Paqueta. One it nearly latched onto by Lionel. Perfect playing surface here. An absolute pool table. Another bad giveaway from Paqueta. Look out! Chance for Messi to the inside. Battling oh. for it. Martinez finally whacked away by Danilo. Well, not sharp enough there, Argentina, to latch on to another terrible giveaway from Lucas Paqueta. Less than one minute, and he's gifted three. Magic! Down on the other side, it's Jesus. Trying to cut around, Camino <laughs> gets the pleasant roll. Uh, a minute in, and there's been more gasps and O's and R's around this stadium than probably it got reconstructed. <laughs> Bill Argentina back. had a great chance there to latch onto it, a little bit hesitant with the shooting boots to test Allison from really good close range. Edge of the 18 yard box passing onto each other. That's the Scaloni way it's been, Phil. They've been really a lot more coordinated. The Albi Celeste, a little bit more choreographed in their football since Lionel has been out of action. So. Ray, we've See, talked about you always know, know that Massey is going to bring something as Tite has explained in his press conferences. It's something ultra special. He is the Kuanoa diamond of world football, and we cannot contain him, we can limit him. But there is a propensity for all teams Messi plays with to look to him first. Ball stripped away by Ocampos, the new Bright young thing for this Argentina squad. Foyt stepping back. Focus, focus there from William, another player who was playing at the top of his footballing tree, and it is a Sequoia. William for Chelsea has been absolutely magnificent. There we see the razzle dazzle of the ex Corinthians man. Chopped down a bit to size by his Tottenham rival. I was talking to somebody from Chelsea Football Club the other day, and I said, Why do you explain? The great resurgence from William. I've always been a fan of his, Phil. Oh, and it says, well, he always plays for Italian coaches. <laughs> what do you expect? Now he's playing for an Englishman who has absolutely let him off the chain. Of course, William under Jose Mourinho as well was less than fluffing his football and feathers. But now under Frank Lampard, he is really playing his... Well, as well as he ever has, and drawing the attention of Barcelona, what a ball that is again, wonderful from Andrada. Ball forward, Brazil trying to get into the attack. Arter dispossessed out for the throw-in. This is the 70th game for William, many of them under Tite, who also shares that favorable view. Yep, a wonderful player. Militao. Silva again swinging to the left side of that center pairing. Real Madrid youngster getting the call here today. Marquinhos starting this match on the bench. Paqueta again holding on and Messi <laughs> almost pouncing. You can hear a bit of the gasp from the crowd here. Yeah, Milan man has had a few rough touches going on. Started with Flamengo, of course, because Paqueta. And is Mengao looking forward to the Copa Libertadores final? See if they can reproduce that great 1981 team, Phil, where they wiped the floor with one of the great Liverpool teams of all time with Zico. The former Riverman Lucas Ocampos, a bit more of a concern today. Let's see how they play. Wide for Foyt. Again, it is a four back, even though he's more of a center back. In his future, Andrada doesn't feel the pressure. Very Boyd getting confident. the call here today on the right side. And again, Andrada oh. calling <laughs> off Otamendi. Gabi Jesus saying it was touched, but Great no. Confidence from the Boca man. Yeah, you see it, you want it? No, nope. you didn't get it. Dyson with death, Russian roulette, and I love it. 
Argentinian roulette. Nicely! Into the area, blasted low, but not much on it from Jesus. Andrade, an easy save. Uh, Popgun power from the Man City man, ex Palmeiras, is where he began his Brazilian football. What a job this man has done. 58 year old, still a young man. 17th job in football. A lot of trophies along the way, especially with Corinthians, but yeah. finally won his first trophy with Brazil, the Copa America, this past summer, but he hasn't won a game with Brazil since. Laid out wide by Rodrigo, played back, an awkward bounce for Alisson. Not the Romeca. best ball from Rodrigo de Paul there for Lionel. And a concern, Ocampos seems to be in pain. Might have landed on someone or pulled something on the way. Now he's back. And down goes Casemiro. You've got to start recognizing Pinocchio's when you see him, Phil. Wasn't even a touch from Casemiro. That player's trying to get away with everything they can nowadays. Gone are the days where you used to be shouted at by your coach and your fellow players. Get up and roll and roll. Some surprises in the start for this Brazil team for me, though, Phil. Casemiro, man, he is being run into the ground by <laughs> Zidane, and understandably so. The ex Sao Paulo man for Chiche as well. Indispensable, Doesn't unrestable, seem to mind. undroppable. Look at that pass. And the fans appreciate it. William Wide threaded forward for Paqueta on the more comfortable side of the field but good double team by Ocampos it'll be a throw in deep. Casemiro showing exactly what he brings to his dance wonderful sprayer of the ball underrated creator this man on the ball not just a holding midfielder not just a cork in a bottle a proper footballer Again, he came up as a forward, an attacking player right. in his youth. But when he got to the actual tryout with the club team, he saw all of the Brazilian players that were lined up for attack. No one was playing defensive midfield. He said, I'll try that then. Sneaking it through, Casamino, but blocked away. Leandro Paredes. That was great play Kept between in. Firmino. Here he is again. Tries to dance around Paredes' challenge. Sparky. Alexandro walking the chalk. Wonderful quickness from the Liverpool man there. And oh, Stripped in. away. Firmino back. Magic. Jesus. Ooh. Down he goes. And a penalty is called. Petzella couldn't get out of the way. And Brazil heads to the spot. But I'm sure what you mean by get out of the way, Phil. I think Petzella baits. I think he baits at the challenge and misses and gets player. We'll see in replay. But the Fiorentina man seems to dive in a little bit too quickly. Hesitant and dacing with death again is one fourth. The Tottenham Hotspur man commits Harry Carey. Right there, you see, that's intentional and that is pretty cynical. And this looks to be dispatched by the man who got fouled, Gabriel. Well, no Neymar, so Gabi Jesus looking for his 19th goal. Andrada, toes on the line, ready. Jesus oh! rolls it wide! <laughs> Unbelievable! Scandalous in its approach, really. He's been hit and miss for Manchester City. And there's been an outcry from a lot of his people that he should be taking the penalty kicks for Man City. It's just, he does everything right other than put it in the net. How crazy does that sound? But he locks his eyes on Andrada, who doesn't blink till the last second. And Gabby's got to hold off to his last moment to guide it to whichever side, and a fish up a tree, penalty kick. 
Well, that fish has been in the tree for a while. <laughs> Think back to that Atalanta game as well. Ocampos with the ball poked away by Alexandro. The Argentine is down, but a clean challenge, say the officials. Well, well this will be worth another look. Either this referee has got this one absolutely spot on, because to my live eyes, it looked like it might have been a very dodgy challenge. Let's take a look. It's wonderful play, beautiful give and go on the run. I think that's a good challenge. I agree. Yeah, from the side. Let's take another look. He leaves both of his feet right here, and that should be outlawed because you can't be in control of a challenge when you leave your feet. But the referee, Australia. <laughs> New Zealand, same thing. Sorry excuse me, excuse me. They're far from the same <laughs> thing. Sorry, Kiwis. Down in for William. Foyt, who was victimized last time out. An early try for the normal right winger straight to the goalkeeper. Wow. Good tempo, huh? Friendly exhibition. Nah. -uh. Messi robbed. crowd has been into it by the way Ray you talk about the misses for Gabi Jesus he has now missed more penalties than he has made yeah. four penalties made in his career oh, good ball. none for Brazil that's now five that he's missed here's Messi oh! down he goes penalty the other way he gambles and he wins he raids this challenge like a book and bronco does it's he brilliant Messi himself? at himself. He gets the ball. He recognizes the space behind the defender. Most players will put the great brakes on and try to cut back. Not Lionel. Right here. Touches it past. And he keeps on running. And there's an interference there by Alexandro. Take a look downstairs. There's the first one. There's the second one. Messi tries to keep running. But it's a falta. Kind of hard to run without your legs. Wasn't much, but physics did the rest. Oh. And now Lionel Messi. Well, we called it a Chinese firecracker of a game to start. It has been absolutely wonderfully flamboyant, going both ways. Mr. Flamboyant himself. He's had been spotty with his pancakes. Messi ah. denied. But the rebound put home his 69th goal for Argentina, and it took a little extra effort. Took great goalkeeping as well to keep the first one out. Allison, like a jungle cat on the line, Phil, reads the great Messi. Reads his eyes. Says, I see your full house. I'm going to raise you. Blocks it beautifully. But Lionel follows up just in case. Tough on the ex-international man. That's a great save. That's absolutely magnificent from the 27-year-old. And by Messi's standards, it was a poor penalty kick. There's something about Liverpool and Messi that just doesn't quite click. Uh, he was sprinting alone to get to the loose ball. By the way, that's something... Again, in their wisdom, use your own quotes, the IFAB is looking to get rid of all of the changes they put in this year. There's a couple that are on the horizon. It looks like a concussion substitution could be in place next year, but they're talking about on penalties. If there is a save, no rebound goals. I don't know if I'm that much in favor of it, but Lionel Messi definitely isn't as he gets now, his 69th goal for Argentina. Let me ask you, is the intended change of the rule for the player taking the penalty kick, or is it for all players following I think it has anything to do with anyone, if I read it right. I can understand it for the penalty kick taker. I'm behind that one. He's got a 10-yard head start. But not with his teammates. Well, great response from... Brazil and Gabi Jesus 
be thinking about that one and the other ones that you were documenting there Phil he's just been in a bad run of form for penalty kicks again four goals made five missed for the Manchester City star 0 for 2 for Brazil if penalty my kicks. figures are correct it's amazing and they all talk about them being nailed on but they're far from it we've seen some of the greatest players in the world miss penalty kicks and who would you think is the greatest penalty kick taker just currently that's open for the <laughs> I put forward a certain Real Madrid man and he's a defender Sergio Ramos he makes things interesting he decorates penalty kicks by the way you know Messi now missing his 26th penalty yeah. in his career but first to the spot and from the Gabi Jesus penalty it's kind of hard to get the rebound when there isn't one <laughs> uh, thoroughly enjoying it they are adding to this game wonderful crowd wonderful crowd and of course we're seeing the good shots of the female form the women are in the stadium here today which is a wonderful wonderful addition and hopefully a regular occurrence now in Saudi Arabia Messi wants it back drags William with him Rodrigo out wide on this near side they'll swing it to Roselso he tries to dump it into the corner but well read by Gabi Jesus Brazil on the break and here is the Man City man bit of a hospital ball but Arthur gets him out of the ER early here's William he's not so fortunate looked away by Paredes with Ocampos just his third appearance but with Ocampos it gives Messi the freedom to go more to the inside a true free roll for this Argentina as Barcelona is trying to do as well. Well Barcelona doesn't have Lucas Ocampos who might be one of the hottest players in Spain. Approaching the 20 minute mark. Each team failing from the spot but Argentina and Messi reacted well one nothing. Campos threading it just back in time the old man Tiago Silva it's on his galloping horse beautifully reads it ahead of arriving at the station to shut down that nice curling pass by the way that goal for Messi extends his lead atop the all-time scoring chart for Argentina now it's 69 15 more then Gabi goal Gabriel Batistuta looked like that record was going to last forever Sergio Guero maybe could catch him but still 14 goals to make up Aguero is on the bench today but might not see him until late these records are getting broken so regularly and especially in Europe, I must say, with the emergence of the smaller countries that back in the old days of likes of Yugoslavia were one nation mm. now, and the Soviet Union as well, where all the different breakaway countries have not got quite the strength that they used to have when they were all combined. Good ball! Almost! Oh. Firmino just didn't have the angle. <laughs> Either that or he thought better of challenging Otamendi. No Icardi for Argentina and no Di Maria. Two noticeable absentees, especially Di Maria. And Icardi has been scoring goals for fun for PSG at the moment. Yeah. And you wonder again with those rumored difficulties, shall we say, between Icardi and Messi. You know, back from suspension. Scaloni glad to have him. Wax to the far side. A little too so much lucky. meat on that one by Pizzella. So lucky. It's a right attempt. A 
importance, one of the attributes of the Scaloni team. They want to get that ball into the space and under the player's foot early and quickly and sharply, and that's what Pazzella was trying to do. He steps through it, could have taken an extra touch on it, but under Scaloni, it seems to be a sharp... They're, they're trying to introduce a real sharpness into the initial passes. Where they're not dwelling on it so much. Man of the match so far is this crowd. <laughs> Again, it's only about a 25,000 seat stadium, but it feels like <laughs> twice that much, at least. I think the majority of the women scre screaming and shouting as well. They're really enjoying this special night. Magic. Nice. Lautaro Martinez, maybe the biggest Beautiful. change for Scaloni oh. tonight. Flying forward, down goes Rodrigo the foul, and the foul and a card going the other way. Uh, this will be for De Paul, I think, Phil. No? Look like Casemiro, and he's not arguing. And there's the first one, then there was a two for one. Might have been going for the ball, but caught the man. Take a look again. Here's the penalty. That's certainly a pen. Certainly, I mean, Jesus isn't going to not embellish it, but it was a penalty kick. Fair and square. And here's the other side of the coin. Here's the double challenge. And Messi fighting through the first one, and the second one steers it. Allison. The Black Hawks to push from Merseyside. Shuts him down. You know, Messi. We have a chance, Ray. And ponder, if you will. But for Scaloni, what's different this time around? You think back, you can go all the way back to Pasadela, where. Argentina was trying to find a team to fit around Lionel Messi and the times where he was absent due to injury or suspension gave him a chance to build a team Messi on the free kick hoping for a run by Otamendi that never quite got there the runs are there it's a poor ball by Lionel he knows it as he looks up at heaven and curses it with his bootless cries Two great runs, lovely feet, beautiful pass. Alexandro under pressure. Well, I'll tell you why you're talking about the Argentina team, Phil, for me. They were the best team in the World Cup that they lost in the final against Germany. And that late, late goal, with a better say, they were missing some big, big players on that day as well. Let's not forget so. The down they certainly again. have always been the type of player, type of team that's brought a lot. But of late, certainly it started to fade away, and that may have been Argentina's greatest opportunity against Germany to lift that cup for Lionel. Had a couple of chances in the Copa America as well, but fell short. Scaloni, though, there's a humility to him. And I guess there's, again, when you deal with superstars, there's two things you have to be. You have to be brighter than the player, shining, say, as a Mourinho in his prime, or take a back seat. Ball from Messi to the near headed clear. And Scaloni doesn't seem to mind life out of the limelight. Rodrigo tries to poke it through but can't. Messi crossing the heels of William, asking and begging forgiveness, but coming very close to a caution of his own. Yeah. Certainly a card in. Regular games, I think, especially Lillian streaking ahead to pick out an attacking pass. No foul against Lautaro. He gets knocked down. Messi holding off the challenge. 
An Argentine captain pokes it free, but then as he's battling for it with Alexandro, draws the whistle. And again, fitting into that, Pastadella, the last manager for Argentina that didn't really have to worry about Messi. It was Bielsa that broke him in, Peckerman who had brought him up, and then through Basile, Maradona, Batista, Sabella, Tata Martino, Bausa, Sampaoli, and now Scaloni. William into the 18 for Brazil. And each time Messi was absent, they built a team that seemed to click. Messi would return, and as you pointed out, that team that was clicking before now just seemed to be waiting for Messi to do the magic. Has Scaloni been able to get that out of the system? Given away. And strong step in by Danilo. And he's going to go in the book. See if this is an intentional stamp. Asking for it both ways as Lo Celso ushers the ball and there's the stamp. That's nasty, Phil. Back two studs as well of Danilo, right on top of that glove that they call football boots. How thick were your cleats? Nice kangaroo leather, but nowadays I don't think it's even leather. It seems to be the, uh, a glove. Amazing. Campos tries to ride the challenge. Oh, Pirouettes his way through. Up the line. Falls for Ocampos. The Sevilla man looking to peel away. And almost does it again. <laughs> his third cap for Argentina but he doesn't seem overall it. of all the players here now as well for Argentina in terms of winning the ball back combine pressing and Messi's been an absolute part of it buying in to that and we've seen it a number of times in the first 27 minutes once the it's a bad good to be aye, aye, aye. tit for tat Sneaks its way through for the Chelsea man. <laughs> and again, to Argentine focus and what Scaloni is dealing with. This is a team that has not won the Continental title, the Copa America, since 1993, and hasn't won a World Cup since 1986. Driving in, Paqueta tried to sneak it through but couldn't. Petzela launches it downfield. An experiment as well with a 3 4 3 Scaloni, but certainly a more and more regimented back four here today, probably smartly. All right, just to give you an idea of the drought that Argentina is in, none of these players were even born the last time Argentina won a World Cup. Great play. Inside, oh. William make that Lucas Paqueta takes a whack, and now going nose to nose. Fabulous play initially away from William and Lucas Paqueta and Firmino trying to combine. Lucas pulls the trigger, but well, Wade. Real focus about all the superstars here. Not thinking of anything else but this 90 minutes on the pitch here. Really good pulsating game of international class. Canarina looking for the equalizer. Martinez thinks about it. No problem for Allison, though. Campos. Rodrigo de Paul. Well handled, but Ader gives it up. Oh. 
The shot from Messi blocked wide for the corner. By his standards, he'll be disappointed. You give time and space to Messi like that, it's like giving the keys to the blood bank to Dracula. But it doesn't come through at this time. Look at the space time. He's on the wit. He flames throws it in. And I Air in seventh heaven. Fans on their feet behind the goal. Messi heads to the corner. Takes a peek, drives it low. Headed clear and right back for Messi, but the angle carries it out. Missed penalty in the 10th minute for Gabriel Jesus. Just rolled it wide of Andrade's net. Four minutes later, Messi denied by Allison, but then pounced on the rebound for the only goal of the match. Good play. Another quarter hour to go or so. Ah. Half number one. And for Casemiro, who is playing that pivot role. Gabi Jesus picked up by both Foyt and Petzeller. They're passing him on. He's been contained well for the first half hour. Kata switching to the right side where he draws the foul. Paredes. Goalkeeper, just his third cap. Headed high into the air, but Foyt That's takes a, a little ball. steam off. Beautiful. Help in the middle. The pass just awry. Oh, Almost another well gift. played. Beautiful. Lovely hesitation there. Down goes William. Powell on Foyt. Easy grab for Andrade. Good defensive football there earlier from Alexandro. Drawing in. The shirts of Argentina looking as if it was going to be a tight, tight alley for him to get out of, but he was wonderful with it. Well won. Nice ball. Looking for the Good equalizer lead. for Mino for Jesus. Gabi oh. looking for another foul, but he's not going to get it. With quick feet, though. You see this exchange between the left and right invading the challenge in from Argentina. They get away with it. Trying to switch, William right on the sideline. Back for Alexandro, who will be playing here again at this very stadium. William, teammate, and Alexandro and Danilo, the two Juventus fullbacks taking on Lazio in the Supercopa. Nice touch Mendy. again from Paqueta. Aliafico. Ajax back. Long for Lautro. Sweet movement from these sweet feet, huh? Lovely football. Taking the pedal for this one, but unable to really get much in the area. Two thirds the possession. Played. But they're even on shots. Nicely again. Paqueta. Good ball. Flag stays down. Driven oh. across. They caught Andrade leaning. 
the audacity of this strength, but wonderful build up again from Brazil. The flair, just take a look at it. Beautiful touch, overlap, beckoning, served, and then this audacious thing. That's an intentional shot. Again, there's that quickness of exchange between his quicksilver feet, Phil, and inviting the challenges coming in, balls away from him. Uh, I've really seen nothing either way. Down goes Martinez in a tangle. Taliafico able to stay out of the way from that desired contact by Gabriel Jesus. Many were thinking he'd just be a band-aid quick to be ripped off for this Argentina side but Scaloni sticking around and talked about how Brazil has not won a game since they won the Copa America final against Peru. Argentina has not lost a game since they fell in the semis against Brazil in the Copa beating Chile Mexico and Ecuador and level against Chile and Germany. Wonderful tango there. Lovely challenge for a, a ball in the midfield area. Fighting like Mongoose and the Cobra here, these two teams. Ball carried, throw in Brazil. Eight minutes of regulation remain. Good response from Chichi's man as well of late. That's 15 minutes certainly been. Brazil connecting the passes and lovely movement. Dummies going off, the coffee house tricks coming out. Beautiful. But Argentina biting down hard on the bit between the teeth that is a one goal lead. Well, mentioned possession leaning heavily in favor of Brazil, but it seems like the Argentine game plan going according to form. Yeah. And the three questions, if you will, Lo Celso, Ocampos, and Lautaro Martinez all seem to be fitting in quite well. And Lo Celso a little on the quiet side. Either Militao. Do Silva for Sandro. Keeping it alive, Jesus, but lucky. Just behind. Oh, played again. Quickness of feet being displayed on both sides. It was the ball there for Argentina. Alexandro. <laughs> Inter Juve battle that time. Results in the whistle. Good with his feet, still learning the ropes a bit, but trapped in the shadow of Marquinhos normally, getting a chance here today in the sunshine. Headed back, William was ready, but so was Foyt. Laid off for Ocampos. Nice. Pocket picked Casemiro. Oh. Drags it to the 18, but it would have been offside against Firmino. Martinez, Phil, really staking a big claim for that starting position for Argentina under Scaloni. Cunaguero, another player who's been playing wonderful football in his later years for Manchester City. Sharp as a dagger, but Martinez has showed ever since he's left Racing, it all started for him. Now with Internazionale, and as you said earlier, Phil, just kind of stop scoring for 
the black and blues. And another hell of a selection problem for the Argentina coach, which has always been the case in the offensive area. Uh, huge burgeoning talent of who to select and who to drop out and who to get the best benefit of the chemistry from. Is there room for Nicardi? Even Dybala has come under question, and yeah. he's starting to come back to form. That's right. And McAllister as well in that midfield area has been wonderful for Boca Juniors. Good ball. Wide for Campos, isolated. Now back comes William, early cross, carries through. Celso looking, overlap. Taliafico hoping for a touch that never came. A beautiful kick. clear from Martinez again. This is a fabulous ball. He's got the he's got the obvious one to play played into the area in front of Allison Phil, but he goes the other way and finds La Celso. Beautiful ball from Martinez. Good expressiveness about the individuals of Argentina, none more so than him. Yeah. He's 22 year old. Every time I see him, Lautaro Martinez, he seems to be getting better. He, le he literally looks as if he's learning the game as it's going on, and he's bringing more and more to the front of the 90 minutes. Hoped away from behind by the Powell. And that is a difference. Oh, yellow card. Persistent infringement, says Matt Conger. First caution against Argentina. That is a difference, say, between the once precocious talent of an Aguero, the burgeoning, if you will, of a Icardi, with Lauto Martinez, you sense there's still a lot of room to grow, and he's headed in that direction. Uh, yep. There's an intelligence to his game. Double team again, DePaul. This time combining with Messi, Casemiro down. A little too easily, Prince Paredes. Certainly getting the Italian language down. Man. 44th minute. Rafa Campos. Foyt. Martinez. Knocks it off the Brazilian and out. Had a little bit of an example. Something that doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but. You'll find coaches, a way. The coaches know. Yeah, it's a big, <laughs> if you have a big enough stat sheet, you're right. Yeah. Nowadays, with. Everything computerized and satellite tracked. I think you're right. It's all in your head. Though. You don't need no satellites in computers, Phil. <laughs> A wonderful game that we've been served up as we head towards half time, and might be another goal here. It's also trying a little magic, but Arter pulls it away. Now all the way back to Esteban Andrada. Again, Ooh. looking. More comfortable oh. than his defense. Oh, William, William could have gone for gold here. He could have taken a leaf out of the book of Pelé in the 1970 World Ooh. Cup and went for goal. It was certainly Andrada well off of his lane, and it was begging for a little clip over the top from William. And I would have put my money on him. Uh, I would have lost. Uh, might end up getting a bit of the blame, giving Paredes a difficult ball, but Paredes just wrapped it with a bow. Yeah, they're cutting their spam mighty fine. Saw the same from Paqueta earlier. Uh, right Brazil. from the first minute, there was some risk taking. Some nerves uh, by some of the newcomers. Oh. Arthur weaves. 
Davis in good position oh, that time. Played, Leo. Messi around Militao. Magic. Messi! Oh. And down goes Allison to deny. Yeah, and the angles of Allison are absolutely our comedian. He narrows the angle down. He knows exactly how far to come without overcommitting. If he'd taken one more step, I'll guarantee you Leo would have chipped him. But he holds his line after he advanced Allison and got the angles down beautifully. It was a good hit by Leo, but brilliant goalkeeping again. Firmino. It won't be in the highlight reel, Phil, but it was truly masterful. Measuring of the angle and distance from the Liverpool man to deny Lionel. Uh, give away Leo Latches skips the light fantastic little dink to the left and then that pummel just doesn't get enough of it or the height but it's a good effort and look at that position and by the wonderful Allison and credit to Thiago Silva as well sure as he denied the option to find Lautaro Martinez yeah. here he comes again Alexandro from Militao Back for Allison. Might well be the best goalkeeper on the planet. Maybe even worthy enough to challenge for a Ballon d'Or, and that's only happened once before. Flag stays down, or no, it doesn't. Offside, Casemiro. Two minutes into added time. And that's going to do it for the opening half. One nothing Argentina. Smiles all around. Yeah, it's been a tra tremendous game of football for these people, lads and lasses in the stands. A wonderful thing to see. They are enjoying it. A real tug of war game, but it's been containable by this referee. It's been bubbling up. The South American class in a glass has been on this.